Hello ladies and gentlemen I am Shweta Agarwal this is the super mileage show let's get started So before we get into the main episode in which I'll be bringing on a guest and we'll be discussing about the team and about the competition I would like to share some EV news which has been uh, a hot topic of discussion amongst engineers for the past week So Tesla recently announced that they'll be switching on to LFP cells for their standard ranges of Tesla Model 3 in China. Uh this is being done in collaboration with CATL that is a battery manufacturing and a BMS uh, managing company. So uh they have been in developments and they have been researching about LFP batteries which are used in heavy models like heavy trucks and heavy buses. uh that use battery electric power because what they need is they have to have multiple charges but they don't need that particular power requirement com- as compared to those tesla versions so tesla will be switching to lfp because lfp cells don't have uh, these cars materials like nickel and cobalt which is used in main nc and ncm batteries although lfp cells are a bit heavy around 10 to 15% more than the nc and ncm versions of tesla batteries but what they are is they are now in the recent developments providing more efficiency amongst the standard range of tesla 3 that is uh, around 500 kilometers and according to the report by reuters they are also uh, better in weight management and easier to manufacture so it helps tesla as a company to look for other options among lithium ion batteries and make them work out other news scientists as at berkeley lab and uh, carnegie mellon university have developed a lithium metal anodes that can finally power up batteries of the future replacing the graphite anodes so lithium metal anodes are 30 to 50% more efficient but the initial problem with them was that they form tiny uh, tree like say structures called dendrites now these dendrites uh, reduce the charge Uh, and discharge cycle of the cell and uh, they it reduces the life of the cell basically and apart from that if they come in contact with the cathode then they might cause a short circuit so uh, these were not uh, in favor so using solid electrolytes you by ceramics have been in developments but now recently a semi solid uh, electrolyte that consists of phosphates and ceramics has been applied which has been showing positive results results towards this and uh, regarding this you can read more about on the link that is provided in the description below later that same evening so uh, before we bring our guests for the show uh, i would uh, like to guide you guys through the team and the competition so team inferno is basically a set of engineering students that strive to develop fuel efficient cars for tomorrow and we develop our prototypes and test them out in the annually held event called Shellico Marathon which is held at various locations uh, both internationally and in India and uh, we uh, share the platform among other students who have the similar mindset and have the similar goal so uh, dhatresh is the team manager of uh, currently and he has been associated with the team since 2017 uh, welcome dhatresh welcome to the show it's lovely to have you Hi Shadish how are you I am doing great how are you doing uh, I am doing absolutely fine Shadish I mean these are troubled times hope you're taking all the precautions Yes I am surely taking all the precautions I hope you you and the people around you are safe too Yes Shadish thanks a lot for the concern I just hope everyone stays safe in these troubled yeah. times Correct correct So uh, I was just telling everyone about a little bit about the team and the competition and uh, would you elaborate on team inferno's history surely shitaj i will i would actually be glad to do so so when we talk about team inferno it is actually nothing if we forget the history behind the team and the legacy that it has so this team started out in uh, sir m vishweshwar institute of technology that is our home college in the year 2011 even though back then the crunch mix of the uh, guys who started the team were mechanical right now if you see there is an even mix to it so we have guys from all other branches as well 
and uh, since 2011 uh, team inferno i can say has been you know a regular participant at the annually held uh, shelico marathon like you explained in your prologue and uh, so we can also call ourselves a shelico marathon veteran if i can say and uh, see uh, starting from 2011 the team has uh, achieved uh, many milestones and uh, i'd like to quote some of them here uh see when we talk about milestones it is nothing it can also be called incomplete if you don't you know mention about our 240 kilometers per liter efficiency that we achieved and this efficiency you know actually helped us to be featured drastically so we were even mentioned on our uh, pakistan's defense website i mean i don't think there's any achievement that could beat that so i would rate that as the first and the biggest milestone in team inferno's career if i can call it and uh, and team inferno also is you see uh, one of the very few teams out there that has cleared the technical inspection every single year you know how gruesome and uh, difficult it is for teams to clear their technical inspection because of all the safety checks the brakes check and everything that shell uh asks us to go through and i think this is no mean feat that team inferno has been participating for the past 10 years and it has also made sure that you know it has always cleared the technical inspection so that is again a pretty good milestone and uh, we can never forget our very first off track when this time it was uh, you also worked with me on that and you know how dear a place it holds in our hearts so we won the off track award uh, in safety this time i mean because of the covid situation the whole competition was uh, ordered to be cancelled but shell somehow pulled off the virtual off track awards and i'm so grateful for that and um, as they say rest is history team in front of one the safety and uh, things haven't been much greater ever since yes i could definitely agree with you on that so uh, talking about the whole team uh, we have been associated with the competition itself where we test out our vehicles so let's shed a light on the competition a little bit uh, the competition that is shellico marathon which is held in around the world in multiple continents as well as in india as a challenger event surely shit uh, when we talk about shellico marathon the whole fundamental concept of the event itself is unique so as the name suggests you know it is a marathon it is not a normal race that we usually 10 competitions that uh, revolve around engineering institutions to consist of so the whole fundamental concept of shellico marathon is to judge teams based on how efficient their vehicles are so we might not have a team that is you know clocking 100 kmph winning the event but we might have a team that is giving you more than 300 kilometers per liter winning the event so that's how important shellico marathon plays a role in terms of sustainability and eco friendly future uh and uh, also shellico marathon is conducted annually like you already mentioned before but uh, there's something very different about this competition even though it is a 3 4 day event it is not only revolving around you know on track events so there are some off track events as well wherein the teams are tested based on their off track capabilities what i mean by off track is uh, let me name some you know categories that are present in the off track awards of shellico marathon one of them is communications you see in communications uh, the teams are tested based on how good and effective their communication strategy is and how they want to you know put forth their ideas to their kind of audience so when i talk about audience it can be the engineering institutions it can be in college intra college and it can be across various social media activities and uh, one more category is the safety category wherein the teams are tested based on how safe their practices are and how closely they are associated with the industry practices safety practices that are out there so these are some of the you know off track events that shell conducts to help build the overall you know capabilities of an engineering individual so that's one very unique concept of this competition i think it's one of the very few competitions that you know that's out there that tests students based on both their technical and innovational knowledge also uh, shellico marathon would be nothing without its categories there are two categories one is the urban concept so these are cars that can be applied to our day to day lives 
So if you can make a car in the urban concept category, you are talking about, you know, uh, making sure that the car can actually be used in today's life. And the other category is the prototype category. And this is where uh, Shelly Go Marathon is uh, really innovative. So, you know, you have competitions for both urban concept and prototype. And prototype is the thing where you have uh, teams that are testing cars for the future. And Team Inferno does the same. So Team Inferno participates in the prototype category. So we basically design and uh, test cars for the future. And uh, just to make sure that it's not a monotonous event, Shell makes sure that it has a lot of fuel types that can be used in this event. So one is the uh, gasoline category, wherein you can use the gasoline, fuel, petrol, or ethanol for uh, fueling your vehicle. One more is the battery electric category. That is what Team Inferno currently participates in. I mean, we uh, made this radical shift from uh, gasoline to battery electric, I think, in 2018. And I think that's one of the, you know, most important decisions taken in uh, Team Inferno's whole life period. Because for obvious reasons, right, this is an event that focuses on renewable energies and sustainable future. So I think it's a uh, kudos to us that we actually shifted from gasoline to battery electric. And we have been participating in that ever since. And you also have this hydrogen fuel cell category so you can have uh, this types of fuel used for your vehicle so you'll have different categories and different vehicles participating accordingly and also because uh, this event is conducted on such a huge scale you have uh, continent wise events so you have the Shelico Marathon Americas, Shelico Marathon Europe and Shelico Marathon Asia and as uh, Team Inferno is in falls in the Asia Pacific region so we obviously participate in the Shelico Marathon Asia category Okay, so that was a very detailed description about the event. Thank you, Dabraj. Uh, I would like to add that uh, when we shifted from gasoline category to battery electric category, category in the year 2018, we achieved a total mileage of 112 km per kilowatt hour in our first attempt. And uh, we achieved third position in the Challenger event, which was held at Madras Motor Race Track Chennai. So that was one more notable achievement. Uh, moving on, uh, can you uh, tell our viewers uh, who might be interested in participating in such competitions or uh, such engineering challenges that what is what are the importance and how does it benefit them in the long run? Surely, Shitaj, it's uh, really important that you ask this question. I think all of us engineering students, like-minded and uh, different engineering students of various backgrounds, be it mechanical, be it electrical, be it computer science, I think all of us at some point in our uh, educational career should take part in such competitions because this really helps, you know, broadening our perspective about how the engineering knowledge can be used to real and uh, daily life situations. And also, I think uh, competitions like Shelly Marathon, which are very unique, by the way, they help in all-round development of individuals. So it's not just one skill that is being polished when you become a participant of such an event, okay? So you can see that uh, uh, you will be tested on different levels and you'll have real life scenarios that is created. So it will really put our minds into test. And obviously the teams that can perform best under these present situations and by using their engineering knowledge to the optimum level, I think uh, those are the ones which are going to stand out. And also one more thing about uh, such competitions is that very few competitions, you know, uh, target about uh, innovation and the importance it holds in uh, today's life. So Shelly Marathon is again one such event. So to all those engineering colleges and teams out there, I think this is your shot. You should never miss such an event. So I would urge all of you to take part in Shelly Marathon. And uh, what more to say, I mean, it's a free event. You can register for free. It's not like it has a registration fee and everything. You just have to do some paperwork so that you're eligible to participate in this event. And uh, the best part about Shelly Marathon, I personally feel, is that it gets together so many students, uh, so many individuals from across the world. And the amount of knowledge that's shared, uh, the experience that one gains participating in the same, I think it is immeasurable. I mean, that's the impact that Shelly Marathon has on engineering students and uh, other individuals likewise. 
So this has real weightage when it comes to real life scenarios. And also Shalika Marathon, I think, focuses on sustainability. We all know how important sustainable uh, uh, life forms and uh, sustainable future is for us. So Shalika Marathon is again probably one of the very few competitions that focuses on, you know, sustainability, sustainable vehicles, renewable energy sources, and how we can use them. Yeah, I totally agree with uh, the last statement. It's all about sustainable energy and how to use it effectively, effectively in real life. If not now, then in the future. Uh, moving on to the final question. Uh, what would you rate as or what would you what can you recall as the best experience with the team uh, for the past three years in the past three years which which moment was the best moment with the team uh, Shitaj, you got me in a fix there i think uh, not only me not one team member would you know put everything down to one memory so i think there's a bunch of memories that will stay with us throughout even after we are done with our engineering and uh, our whole educational careers so one thing that I would like to talk about is our late nights in the workshops. I mean, the amount of work that we could do once college was over, all of us used to, you know, eagerly wait to get to the workshop so that we could start working and start learning from our seniors and teachers alike. So I think that's one experience that will stay with us, you know, for the rest of our lives. One more thing, uh, this whole experience of working on a vehicle, you know, manufacturing a vehicle from the scratch, so you're designing a vehicle, then you're testing it, and then you're seeing if it's feasible to, you know, get it onto the track and all the changes that go into it, simulations, analysis, all of that. And then once you get it down to manufacturing, the weldings, the brakes, everything, I don't think you can get this experience anywhere else. I mean, because even if we start working, we won't be working on all the components of a car. And Team Info has given us that platform to make sure that you know we have a all-round experience when it comes to the manufacturing of a vehicle and i think all of us need to be grateful for that and uh, i'll not take much of the time and but uh, our memories would not be completed if we don't talk about this uh, winning moment of 2020. Uh, i still remember both of us were on call we were seeing the live uh, results update on instagram and that was just surreal. I mean, I literally started jumping on my bed and I know that you felt, you and everyone in the team felt the same. I think that's one thing uh, that we'll cherish forever as long as we are in the team and even after that. Yes, surely. I could never disagree. That moment was uh, a different feeling altogether. It cannot be explained in words. That's how uh, emotional and uh, so close to the heart it was. So thank you, Dhatrish, for your time today. It was uh, really great having you on the show and explaining everyone how this whole competition and the team functions. Uh, looking forward to have you on the further episodes and explaining in detail about the team and the vehicles along with other team members. Thanks a lot, Shritij. Uh, it was really great being on the show. I certainly look forward to many more episodes and what you what we have to offer to the audience as well. Thank you. Thank you. Moving on to the final segment of the episode, I would like to give you some safety tip for those people who work on EVs or deal with EVs or have an EV in their house. You should always disconnect the battery for more than 10 minutes while conducting any repairs or any changes because uh, the batteries might be heated up and if you do not disconnect them for some period before working on them, it might cause a short circuit which will lead to a fire that is a hazard. So stay safe and follow these steps. We'll be having more information in the upcoming podcast about the team, about our vehicle and more on the EV news and the sustainable energy news. So stay tuned. Till then, like if you enjoyed our video, comment and share it amongst others so even they can get to know what the EV world is like. Thank you guys.